For more information regarding the civil engineering concepts, please follow my website civilbasics123.com. So go to Google and type civil basics one two three. So click on Google search option. So here my website link will be open here. So click on my website link civil basics one two three dot com. So my complete website will be loaded here like this. It will be consisting of detailed concepts regarding the civil engineering concepts. So I will post at least one article per two days. So you can select any one of the article for complete details about this respected civil engineering concepts. Okay. So please follow my website civil basics one two three dot com. In this video lecture, I will explain you complete manual calculation of uh, beam reinforcement details for the ground floor building. Okay, so initially I will show you the typical floor plan for the respected house. So click on this uh, PDF. So this is my typical floor plan, which is placed in north facing direction. So it will be consisting of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine number of the column sections. Okay, so for this respected typical floor plan, I will explain you how to calculate the reinforcement values for the respected beam sections for the B1, B2, B3. Okay, so firstly, I will show you the uh, beam layout diagram for this respected structure. Okay, so click on another PDF option. So this is the beam layout for the respected structure. So for this respected structure, it will be consisting of three types of the beams. One is related to the B1, and second one is related to the B2, and last one is related to the B3 section. Okay. So this is the general beam layout. Okay. By tomorrow, I will update this respected manual calculation part in my blog Civil Basics One Two Three. So please follow my website Civil Basics One Two Three dot com for more interesting updates. Okay. So for this respected structure, it will be consisting of B1 here. Firstly, we will calculate the reinforcement values which is included on that respected B1. Okay. So this is the beam one design calculation. So here, as per the considerations of that respected section, it will be consisting of your respected load, nineteen point six nine six kilo newton per meter. Okay. So in my upcoming sessions, I will explain you how to calculate this respected uniformly distributed load under the dead loading condition. Okay. So this is the first factor we need to calculate consider before uh, designing the beam section. Okay. So then after that, we need to calculate the self weight of the beam. So basically, self weight of the beam is calculated by using dimensions of the beam with the unit weight of the RCC. So basically, for the plain concrete, the unit weight will be approximately equal to 24 kilonewton per meter cube, and it will be consisting of 25 kilonewton per meter cube for the RCC section. Okay. So here, B is nothing but the width of the beam, and D is nothing but the depth of the beam. So as per the considerations and as per the example, this time taking the Width of the beam is 0.3 and depth of the beam is 0.45. Okay, so if you multiply this respected value 0.3 cross 0.45 cross 25, so that it can get the value is approximately equal to 3.225 kilonewton per meter. So this is the important step uh, while calculating the reinforcement values for the respected beam section. Okay, so then after that we need to sum all this respected load which is related to the uniformly distributed load on the respected slab plus this respected self weight of the beam. Okay. So here I am adding this respected two loads, which is related to the 19.696 plus 3.22, which is comes around the value is 22.92 kilonewton per meter uniformly distributed load. Okay. So basically, after calculating the total load, we need to calculate the factor load. Okay. So while calculating the reinforcement of the beam section, we need to consider the factor load. So basically, factor load is nothing but uh, Taking the extra load condition system under certain considerations as per the safety factor. Okay, so for example, let us consider one building is there which is having the total load is approximately fifty kilonewton per meter. Let us assume that respected slab is uh, need to resist the fifty kilonewton per meter square area. So to resist that amount, that much amount of the load in future, we doesn't know whether it is comes under fifty kilonewton per meter or not. Okay, so to overcome that respected problem, we need to calculate the factor load. Okay, so here factor as per the considerations of the IS codal provision, it was suggested that factor is one point five. So we need to consider extra fifty percentage of total load of the building. So here the total load of the building will be consisting of twenty two point nine two kilonewton per meter. So factor is we need to consider as one point five. Okay. So here total load is which is consisting of twenty two point nine two. We need to multiply this respected value, which is comes under the values thirty four point three eight one five kilonewton per meter. Okay, this respected slab will be resist that much amount of the load. Okay, so firstly we need to calculate the moment resistance value. Okay, calculation of moment and moment resistance. These are the basic important thing. The Type of the beam which is related to the single reinforced or double reinforced values will be depends upon this respected moment and moment resistance value. Okay, so basically we will calculate the moment value for the respected uniformly distributed load. W L square by eight is the formula. Okay, so here 
table is nothing but the total load which is calculated after the factor load which is consisting of 34.318 multiplied by l l is the length of the span for the respected beam okay so here one 4.8 square so divided by 8 which is comes under the values 99 kilo newton meter i now we have to calculate the moment resistance okay moment of resistance basically moment of resistance as per the is codal provision 456 code it was suggested that the formula is 0.138 multiplied by sigma ck multiplied by b into d square okay so here moment resistance by factor is 0.18 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 300 multiplied by 400 square okay which is comes under the values 132.48 kilo newton meter so here m max is 99 and moment resistance value 3 uh, 132.48 kilo newton so here moment of resistance value is greater than maximum moment value okay so that's why we need to conclude this respected uh, beam section will be consisting of only the single reinforced section okay basically if you provide the reinforcement values in uh, top section and bottom section basically we will call it as double reinforced section if the building has in only the single reinforcement section we need to provide the uh, reinforcement section under the torsion okay so here in this case we need to consider the uh, is 456 page number 96 annex l 9 as per the calculation so initially i will open the respected is 456 code so this is the 96 page number which is consisting of your reinforcement section here like this so mu equals to 0.87 multiplied by sigma y into ast d into 1 minus ast sigma y bd sigma ck so this is the general formula we need to use under the b category okay if the value is xu by d is less than the limiting value then we have to consider this respected formula so here also same case just i am considering the value will be less as per the limiting value okay so here this is the formula generally taken from is uh, 456 page number 96 okay so if you substitute this respected maximum value which is comes under this respected uh, moment 99 multiplied by your 10 power 6 is the value which is equals to 0.87 into sigma y into ast into 400 into 1 minus 1415 into ast divided by 400 into 300 into 20 okay from this respected calculation if you substitute the value of sigma y is 4415 great under consideration the ast value will be comes under 773.57 mm square okay so this is the general uh, a requirement of the area of the steel that is required for the respected beam okay so now we have to calculate the uh, reinforcement bars okay so let us consider just i am providing the 16 mm diameter bar so initially we need to calculate the individual bar section reinforcement so which is comes under uh, pi into d square divided by 4 which is comes under the values 201.06 mm square okay so if you consider this respected value we need to calculate now number of the bars that is required for the respective reinforcement section okay so here number of the bars required equal to total steel divided by area of the individual bars if i assume this respected 16 mm diameter then we have to calculate how many bars are that that are getting for the respected beam section under single reinforcement okay if you take the less amount of the reinforcement diameter of the bar then it will increase the number of the bars okay but it is not suitable for the beam section consideration okay so here if i calculate the respected number of the bars required it is comes under the values four numbers okay so ast provide is 804.24 value under considerations of the four bars okay so this respected value is suitable for the 773.57 mm square okay so after calculating all the number of the bars the reinforcement diagram which is related to the single reinforcement value will be showing here like this okay which is consisting of four number of the bars at the bottom section reinforcement which is having 16 mm diameter bar okay so now after calculating this respected beam reinforcement section we need to check the reinforcement checks okay so under main re minimum reinforcement section as well as your respected maximum reinforcement okay so as per the considerations of the is codal provision 456 page number 46 and 47 of class 20.5 so as per the formula that is given as by bd which is equals to 0.85 times of sigma y so this is the minimum value we need to consider for the respected reinforcement and the maximum area of the tension reinforcement shall not be exceed 0.04 times of b into d so we need to calculate this respected minimum as well as the maximum value so minimum will be consisting of 245.78 mm square as per the consideration which is less than the 
uh, 804.24 then it is safe okay maximum reinforcement will be consisting of 4 percentage of grass area of the bar okay so b d so which is comes under the 45160 mm square which is consisting of greater than of your respected provided okay so here the maximum reinforcement values is greater than this respected 4804 value so hence it is safe now I will explain you how to calculate this respective second beam which is consisting of B2 section for the reinforcement ok. So here also we need to calculate the load. So for the respected UDL it will be consisting of 10.55 kN per meter is the slab load that is resisting by this respected beam ok. Now again we have to calculate the self weight of the beam 25 multiplied by 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.38 so which is comes under 2.375 kN per meter total load is sum of this 10.55 plus 2.375 which is comes under the value is 12.92 so now factor load is 1.5 times of your 12.92 which is comes under the value is 19.38 value so again we have to calculate the uh, movement value movement resistance movement will be w square by 8 which is consisting of 46.949 kN again movement resistance will be consisting of 0 0.138 multiplied by sigma ck multiplied by b into d square ok so this is the general calculation part which is comes under the beam 2 which is consisting of approximately 84.52 kN meter value so here also the moment of resistance value greater than a maximum moment so beam is designed under single reinforcement section so now we have to calculate the reinforcement value as per the class which is provided by the IS456 ok so maximum moment will be equals to 0 0.87 times of sigma y multiplied by AST multiplied by D into 1.1 1 .1 minus sigma y AST by sigma uh, CK into BD. So if you calculate that respected value which is comes under 412.22 mm square. Okay. So as per the check of the reinforcement value. So 0 0.87 multiplied by B into D divided by sigma y which is comes under the uh, 179.2. This respected value is less than this uh, reinforcement value hence it is safe. And the number of bars provided for this respective section will be comes under two numbers. Let us consider if I consider 60 mm diameter. So it will be comes under the value is two. Okay. For the respected section. Okay. So now this is the beam which is related to the B2 section under considerations of the reinforcement value. It is consisting of two bars of 60 mm diameter. Okay. So this is a complete calculation part which is comes under the B2 section. Now I will explain you complete calculation part which is related to the B3 section. So initially I will show you the diagram beam. Uh, layout diagram so this is the b3 section for the respected uh, building section it will be consisting of approximately the load value of 9.584 kN per meter if you calculate the self weight again 25 multiplied by 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.38 which is comes under 2.85 total load is 12.438 sum of this respected 9.584 plus 2.885 so if you calculate the factor load which is comes under the value of 18.651 so maximum moment value will be of 36.19 and moment of resistance will be 101.43. So moment resistance is greater than this respected maximum moment. So here also we need to provide the single reinforcement section. Okay. So if you consider this respected uh, as per the IS score 456, we need to calculate the reinforcement values 0 0.87 times of sigma uh, y into AST into D into 1 minus sigma y AST by sigma CK into BD. If you calculate the value, the reinforcement value will be comes under 304.67 mm square okay so if you provide the maximum bar of 60 mm diameter the number of the bars should be required for this respective section is two numbers hence provide two bars of 60 mm diameter at the tension side which is consisting of AST of 412.12 mm square so this is the two bars of 60 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section okay so if you check for the reinforcement section for the minimum reinforcement section as per the clause which is provided by the 20.5 page number of 46 and 47 0 0.85 times of BD divided by sigma y which is comes under the value is 217.59 so this respected value is uh, less than that of uh, 2412.12 so hence it is safe so maximum value is also uh, 4560 mm square this is value is greater than the requirement so hence it is safe okay so this is the complete calculation of beam reinforcement section which is consisting of your ground floor building under consideration if you consider the ground floor building only it will be consisting of tension reinforcement section okay why because the value of the moment of resistance value is greater than the maximum moment value here in this case okay so this is a complete concept so tomorrow session i will update you complete calculation in uh, in my website civilbasics123.com please follow my website 
for the complete calculation sheet okay due to copyright issues i am not able to providing this respected pdf in the below description so you can watch the complete calculations through my website okay if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you